All right, so we got this Dell computer monitor here. The last one, this one was, this is an old one. As you can tell, it's, it was manufactured in November 2001. As you can see by the date down here, and it's just been sitting around for years in, our, in the barn storage area so I thought we might as well have some fun with it so we're gonna take it apart and there might be some stuff in it we can reuse so anyways we're gonna start getting this thing apart one piece at a time all right so we've taken out the main screws they were right here and we turn we're ready to take the screen off and body part we've had to flip it on its side to get to it because and anyways, this is um, this is how you this is how we have to get this. We have to do this one on the side to get it open. In, in a second, here. So here we got it, the infrastructure of the computer, and as you can see, it's pretty complicated. <sighs> Dang, but we'll go through each piece at a time. This right here, as you can see, that's a screen. This is like this is this right here is like a projector. It what projects. This is similar. It works similar to older TV screens. If I could, I wish I could plug this up and demonstrate, but I, don't, I can't really. Not safe either. I use these copper coils here to generate the, some more of the, the like the to, to convert the signals, I believe. And here's the circuit board, and you see all the signals come in from. They're all somehow transcluded on this circuit board, and so complicated. I mean, don't know if I can ever master all this, but I'll go in this. Uh, these are some resistors that you can see. This looks actually similar to inside of a radio. This is where the plug to the CPU attaches. One of the plugs. This one also. This is the, um, the, the that re this one receives the the computer signals. I believe and it goes in goes in right here through the uh, it, it's converted it just sends them directly to the screen so this is the visual stuff and this uh, this, is, this is a transformer I believe and yeah yeah these are connected interconnected but uh, there's multiple transformers here as we can see they'll be magnetic Yeah, it's definitely Veggie <sighs> can I just wish I could get my light here. More stuff down in here. There. Now we'll take out the screen. Alright, so now as you can see we've taken the screen out. Apart from this, this was not easy to get out. We had to do some screws and believe it or not, these the some of these wires and stuff are connected actually with the zip ties right here and had to cut some of those and I'm gonna come back to the screen right here you can see this is the we used to be technically the front pane of it they got the buttons here and this is a better view this now complicated circuit board like and you see right here these are the buttons and like right here's the power button when I push it um, and I push it, you see this, it sends a, those little impulses somehow across the circuit board eventually to the screen. And these are some of the other buttons too that adjust like the brightness. Don't do not. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to attempt to take this circuit board out because that will be even much more of a butt pain. Now for the, you can see the screen, this is the, 
back these wires somehow this is somehow what sends the electrical impulses or somehow sent here and I don't know how it all works but yeah they go into the screen by this this metal strip somehow and this is here's a projector and this is I can't remember what this is something to do with the to get it figured out later tube yeah another one of the a resistor I can't remember yeah and so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait this is the projector part of it's attached and we'll cut these zip ties here and we'll ah, come on we might be able to get it open So we disconnected this. You see, this there were these spikes that I pulled down that went down in these holes that were on this, and accidentally bent them. I'm trying to put this out, so don't think this will ever go back together. And right now, I'm gonna try to get the. You can see, we have to do some screws here and some other stuff, and to get the projector off. I'm gonna do that right now. I figured out this tube actually of the screen extends all the way through here to here and this stuff is just like this is just around it some of the electronics that, that just add more help to enhance the picture I'm not gonna go through the trouble getting this off this looks like this will be this will be really hard to do but anyways here you have it the inside of an old computer monitor